So I think it's about time that you learned about delta time. Last time we left off with basic four directional movement using two variables. One for moving left and right and another for moving forward and back. Now real quick I just wanted to acknowledge that yes this is an older way to control movement. I personally use a much more complex system that allows the player to invert the sticks and set any command to any button for any controller including the mouse or the keyboard and even combine aiming with the mouse with moving with the controller. And it saves your settings so that when you turn the game off and come back, your controls are just the way you left them. But that is not a system I would teach a beginner. In my opinion, teaching a beginner to optimize controls across all systems and gamepads before they even know how to control a cube is a great way to make them feel dumb and give up programming forever. And that's why for this series, we are just going to stick with simple legacy code. But by all means, if this is easy for you, feel free to improve or replace the code with something better. Nothing I'm showing you guys how to do here is law. There is always going to be a better way, but just use what works for you. So what is delta time? Delta time is how you fix the problem of everyone's machine being different. If you were to release this game right now, people with better or worse machines would experience the game at different speeds. But delta time is governed by real life time, which gives you a decent way to make sure that everyone is playing the game at the same speed. It's pretty easy to implement, basically just multiply it by your movement. Now I'm going to show you two different ways. The first is easier to understand. The second uses less code, but is probably a lot harder to understand if you've never coded before. If you are a beginner though, use whatever is most comfortable for you. But they both do the same thing. Method 1. Just multiply your x and z variables by delta time. When you do that and test the game, you might notice it gets a lot slower. Don't worry, that's normal. It's slower because it's fixed to real time now. Just adjust the speed variable to get your old movement back. Method 2. Create a vector 3 variable at the top. Name it whatever you want, I'm just gonna call it delta move. A vector 3 variable is like an int or a float, but instead of one number, it holds three. That's it. It comes with space for X, Y, and Z, just like any position or rotation variable would, which means you don't need to create your own X and Z variables anymore. You can just move their information into your new vector 3 and then use the entire variable instead of manually typing the X, Y, and Z values into your translate. From here, all you have to do is multiply the whole thing by your speed, and then multiply that by delta time, and you're done. Now your game will be a lot more stable on other people's machines. As always, hope that helps. Hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around. Well.